What's up guys, this is Army Dog. I'm bringing you another vehicle uh, showcase today. So as the sun rises on the great plains of our scrap world, I get a lot of people asking me, Hey Army Dog, how do you get, how do you get all those materials to build your base? Are you in dev mode? No, I'm not in dev mode. Right, this is pure vanilla, no file changes, none of that stuff. And I will be showing you one method that I get my wood and this is it right here as you can see all right check it out this is one half of my twin b suburban this is my logger it's got uh, two little arms that stick out as you can see holding only eight saw blades nothing too fancy on the setup there very basic very simple 12 tires uh two refiners two uh collectors six chests small chests there for in case you got boxes that fill up um you know whatever um, I've got a box full of just some milk and some carrots. And then I got another box over here full of uh, extra gasoline, extra spuds, two tires, some glow sticks, bearings, blah, blah, blah. The other ones are empty for now until you, you take it out and, you know, as you're mining, kill haybots and you pick up component kits or circuit boards or whatever. I also have a, it's a level 5 driver's seat, two fuel cans, that way you can go out and log your brains out. Um, some lights. Uh, see, I got some glass up top. They come around back here to two chests. Very stylish, very pretty. Yep, this is how I get my stuff. And that right there is soon to be a dead tree. So, I'm going to hop in here. I'll show you guys how it works. Number one on all my vehicles is the lights. Bloop, bloop. Yep. All right. Number two turns everything on. Three. Brings them together, all nice and fancy like. Number four, drops them down. You have to use number four for the smaller trees. I don't cut down the little skinny ones. As you can tell where I've been, there's nothing but a bunch of little skinny trees left. It's not worth the gas, I guess. But um, the medium trees, we'll cut one down. We'll find one, a couple of them over there. But uh, other than that, let's get to it, shall we? All right, so first thing I do is I hit three and four, bring them together. All right, creep up to the tree. Cut the base out, turn it off, save gas, find out which direction it falls. We'll go ahead and around this way. Back up into place here. And remember on the big trees, you don't have to lower the saw blades on this one. You just turn them on, bump it, boop, and then shut it. Easy peasy, move on forward, shut it. No problem, and you just repeat this process 900 million times. There are two level five motors on here, so my fuel efficiency is really good. Not that it matters anymore with the update with the oil pumping and everything, but um, I have the blades spinning into each other. That way it pushes the um, Pushes the logs together, supposedly. It just seems to move them to slide more than anything else. See that? I case it forward. Haven't quite figured that part out yet. And any piece you got left over, just kind of. Usually I don't have pieces left over, but. Yeah, sometimes when they explode like that, you got to get a couple of the pieces. It's not a huge deal. I mean, it's fun more than anything else. I like the idea of like a little lumber mill or something. I've seen some people with saw mills or whatever. And uh, I just can't get behind it, only because it's like, and this thing works pretty quick. It's not the fastest thing in the whole world, but it's very stylish. You guys know I'm all about the aesthetics of places. Very, very stylish. Very, very pretty. Handles really well. I'll turn the lights off here. See that? And uh, got the double wheels on everything. Handles super good, even on grass. That's pretty quick. Oh, look, there's a tree. Soon to be a dead tree. All right, lower them down, put them together. Just to touch that, barely touch the, the bark there. Boop, pop that up. Turn everything off, save gas. Bring her around. Woo. <clears throat> this one's a medium tree, so you got to drop down. Bump it. Turn them on, shut them. See that? Nice and easy. 
turn them off. Pick them up. Move on to the next tree. So you guys can see, this is, it's a very, it's nothing. The saw setup is nothing really uh, world breaking. You know, it's, it's nothing super expensive. It's one controller. A couple of bearings and, and a few saw blades. It's, it's nothing extravagantly difficult to put together. It's very simple. Matter of fact, one second, let me finish cutting these up. Raise everything back up. Pick all this crap up. All right, let me head back out here. Just give you guys a little look. See here, fast while it's still daytime. All right, see the. I'll pull out the old connect tool there. See, it's four buttons. It looks like a mess, but it's it's your basic setup. My right is always road. That's the way I think of it to keep them separate. So the right motor, which is right there, we get in first person. Right there powers my bearing. I've got two there, two there, one in the middle on the inside, and then two in the back. Very simple. I have um, precision steering, which is the two bearings up front and two bearings in the back. The middle ones do not have steering. Obviously, that'd be kind of weird. Uh, the outside bearing on those is free floating. There's no, because uh, you only have 10 connections per motor. And so I've got one, two, three, four buttons. And it's literally the controls I just showed you. Um, and then the controller, uh, you can see I've got a set of bearings here, a set of bearings here that go to the controller. And then I have a small or a set of pistons right here that drop it down to level 5. I don't know why I use level 5. Maybe it's a weight. I don't remember. But anyway, the controller, very simple 30 degrees, 30 back, 28. 30 and 30 to negative, back 28. They're exactly the opposite. That way when the arm moves forward, or inward, see how it keeps the blade straight? Yep, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's very, very simple. You know, I mean, uh, I've been out here getting wood from a super highway, and that used to be a forest. <laughs> used to be. Um... The, do, the two uh, refiners and two collectors keep up very nicely um, until I hit like three or four of those uh, cedars or redwoods or whatever they call them, the big ones, not these little crappy ones. I can't remember what the... And the cool thing about this is you don't have to be exactly lined up. You can literally just put the thing down, turn them on. It'll push it where it needs to go. So it, that's why the vehicle's so big. Not so big, but so heavy, I guess. It puts it right where it needs to be. And you can literally, look at that, what was that, like five seconds? Tree dead. So, all you guys asking me how I get all these materials, I grind for them, just like you do. And this is how I just grind in style, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, the... Oh, one more thing I wanted to show you guys. Besides the bed. Respawn bed. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. Um, is the entire frame out of this, I used to make my vehicles out of concrete. Because they needed some weight, you know, to hold them down and make sure they didn't slide. A vehicle's going to slide no matter what. So, um, this is made out of wood 3. Super light. Pretty durable. And it's just a frame, if you guys can see. This is literally just a frame. I started out by building... I built this contraption here first. Welded it to the wall and waited. And then I put some a base down, threw a seat on top. Place for my motors and gas. Very simple. And I literally just followed it around, made one row to come out, go around, up and over to mount the refiners on. And then uh, from that little nexus point right there, I thought it would be cool to bring it back. In and down to mount your chests on. You can mount your chests up top, but then I start, start thinking it gets a little bit too... It looked too tall, too almost top-heavy. It, it wasn't top-heavy. I drove it around like that, but... It looks kind of funny to me. I don't know. I like it better with the glass. It looks nicer. More, uh, more professional. And then uh, this literally just runs across. Goes back up. And one, one out. And the frame. See that? that? That's it. That's all it's to this thing. It looks just beastly from a distance. Like there's super complexity and wow, it must have took you hours and hours and hours. Making it. No, no, I put that together about 45 minutes. It did not take long at all. Then again, I've built two of them now. First one I built was my miner. But 
it's not hard at all. These uh, it's not very expensive. I mean, the level five parts you don't need level five any, and pretty sure you don't need level five anything. Um, I think now you can use level one pistons. You can use level one motors. No, you can't use level one motors. Got to have one motor that's at least level five because it runs the uh, all ten bearings on the wheels. Uh, but you should be investing in your motors anyway to uh, for fuel efficiency and power. And the other motor runs the saw blades. Controllers, to me, are just... It'll work, but it's not fast enough, I don't think, for it to be efficient. But it's all about your own play style. You know, you, you play how you want to. You play to make the game fun. Uh, I built a flyer to go get oil and bring it back. I was like, this is going to be an awesome idea. And it turned out to be cool the first time I did it and then it's like well all right this is boring now so I'm going back to a truck so eventually uh, what I plan on doing is uh, showing you guys the oil derrick and uh, the, the I'm gonna try and make some sort of I don't know I, I want to say an oil tanker with those uh, generator things or whatever, those little generator cores, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do that, because that's got to be ridiculously heavy, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe just, I can just literally go over there and swap out chests, take two empty chests with me, and then, you know, just kind of swap those out, put the new ones back in, and be on my merry way, but I'm trying to be, I don't want to say realistic, that's the wrong word, because, you're, everybody's like, it's a physics-based game. It should be realistic. All right, guys, look, we're not the only human left on the planet. You know, uh, <laughs> farm bots have not taken over the world. Although I have pop head sky and it popped in my head a couple times. You know, when you're playing this game, but if you're going for realism, that's that's just not bring this game into this. Physics-based is nice, but realism is not. So, but other than that. This is the uh, one half of the Twin Beasts of Destruction. I don't know, it's just some fancy name. Looks good on paper. Intimidating, whatever. Anyway, the Green Machine. So, uh, hope you guys liked and enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe for more content. If you don't have to, if you don't like it. Uh, hit the notification bell for the minor showcase coming out here very soon. And make sure you give me a couple of likes and leave some comments down below. If you guys see a, a flaw in the system or um, you have a setup for the saw blades in the front that would be uh, kind of wild and crazy and more fun, hey, I'm all down for that stuff, man. Let me see it. And I may incorporate some of those ideas into my videos. And, hey, if, uh, if I like it, I'll give you a shout-out. Um, if I use it, you know, I'll give credit credit to do, right? So, other than that, guys... Uh, you have a great and wonderful day, and until next time, keep on scrapping.